Hello everyone, in today's video I will be showing you how to install Redux version 1.2. Now um, here is a short preview of the mod. In my last video I didn't use a script but in this one I will be so that the video will progress uh, a lot smoother and quicker. So here's the preview, just a bit of a an idea of what the mod will look like. There are a lot of things to look forward to after installing the mod, it, it changes the game quite a lot. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and let's get into installing Redux 1.2. Just a quick disclaimer before I go on, when installing Redux you will more or less copy the entire game into your mods folder later on. So you will need a lot of storage space when installing Redux mod or any other mod that changes the game a lot for that matter. Now um, another thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you have the cracked version of the game it's very unlikely that this mod will work for you. I've had in the previous video a lot of people ask me oh this mod isn't working, this mod is wor isn't working. Well it's most likely because you have the cracked version of the game. Redux does not support the cracked version of the game so uh, please don't wonder why it doesn't work for you. Now, first thing we have to do is get a 100% clean copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 into our Grand Theft Auto 5 um, game location. Now, to find out where your game is located at, all you have to do is go into Steam, Library, Games, right click on Grand Theft Auto 5, click on Properties, Local Files, Browse Local Files. Now, as you can see, this folder is completely empty. That's because this folder is a dummy folder that I'm just going to be using to show you how to find your game location. So it is here in my case. In my case it is in my E drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common. You just want to make sure you know where your game is located. Now I have a copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 which I keep um, just in case of any crashes, any problems. I always have a 100% clean copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 in this folder. This is a backup in case anything wrong happens. So I strongly recommend that you have this kind of copy because it's a lot quicker to just copy and paste this entire game than to download um, the game all over again from Steam. So I'll copy this into my Steam game location. So I'll just press Control C and then go into Common, which is in my E drive, Steam library, Steam apps. So I no longer need this dummy folder and I'll paste this 100% clean copy of Grand Theft Auto 5 in here. Now I'll let that copy and I'll get back to you guys once it's done. Okay so as you can see here we have our 100% completely clean copy of Grand Theft Auto 5. So we can move on to the next step. Now what you want to do is install Open4. First you want to download Open4, the setup. Here we are. Let that download and now you want to open up the setup. Next you want to choose your language, press accept, continue, and now you want to choose your installation path. I, I'll just leave it as it is, yes, and just wait for that to load. Okay so it's just finished installing so what we can do now is go and open it up and you want to click on Windows under Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, so here what you want to do is you want to put in your um, your Grand Theft Auto 5 game location. So mine is in my E drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5. So yeah, you just put it wherever, you just choose wherever your Grand Theft Auto 5 is located, your, your, fo your game folder. So, let's continue. Continue, yes, I have a backup of the original game. And we're gonna create another backup, sort of. Okay, so I'll just change this to, no, hold on. I think it's, yeah. Okay, so once we're in here, you want to click on Tools, um, ASI Manager, Install, Install, Yes, Create a Mods, oh wait, no, um, yeah, 
okay yeah it creates a mods folder and install there we go so now what you want to do is copy a few folders into your mods folder so you just want to copy update actually no first let's start with time 64 a all the way down to time 64 w what you can do is press shift when selecting and that will just select all of these so there you go and next up um, now you can press control and click on common time 64 and update and those are all the files we need and now you can press control C and control V in here and I'll get back to you guys once it's done copying so as you guys can see the files have finished copying so now what you want to do is install script hook 5 now I'll leave a link in the description to this website basically here you can find a download link to um, download script hook 5 so I'll go ahead and download it and now you want to go into the bin the bin folder and you want to select these two files next you want to bring up your your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder which is this one right here E Drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5. Yours will not be in the same location, but it should be a similar path. And you just want to drag this into here. Replace the files. There we go. So now it's time to download Redux version 1.2.1. .1. Now you can use either one of these, it's fairly straightforward. With the torrent, you'll just download the torrent file and then you double click on it. And then, if you have uTorrent um, installed, then it will install. It will it'll download the mod for you. It will download the file for you. Um, with this, I think it's just going to download a zip file. So it's pretty straightforward. I don't think I have to go through, you know, how to download it. I have it in my downloads folder. As you can see, I use the torrent. We can delete that. Um, where is it? It's right here. So once you get this file what you want to do is click on uh, you want to right click and click on extract to GTA 5 Redux version 1.2.1 .1. this will create a folder like this and inside you will have all the files that you need so um, once you've done that you want to go into open 4 then you want to go into tools package installer and then you want to go back into your downloads folder in here and here and you want to choose Redux installer version 1.2.1. OIV. And you want to click on open. Okay, so you want to click on install and you want to choose the mods folder. Okay, so that install took a while, and that is expected with a large mod like this. So now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and install a few things. Now if you open up this folder, you will find a folder called Reshade Options. And in here you find a bunch of different reshades. Um, you can choose whichever you want. I'll try out um, Deep and Rich. So next you want to open up your um, GTA 5 folder, select all of these and drag them into your, actually no, you want to press Ctrl C and paste them here. Okay, so now once you've done that you might want to install a trainer I recommend simple trainer I have a video on how to install simple trainer but I'll show you how to do it here too now if you want to install add-on mods um, add-on vehicles then you might want to install this game config so let's download both of these okay but yeah um, I think as of right now you could probably run the game and you can enjoy the game as it is right now but these are just some add-on features so trainer let's just open up the trainer and let's copy these two files into our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory there we go that's done next up um, the config file what we will do with this is going to um, okay so let's just put this into our 
um, mods folder. So let's go into mods, update, update RPF, close, edit mode, let's turn on edit mode, common, the data, and we just want to pop this into here, game config, there we go, and now we're practically done. Um, actually no, there's still a few add-on features, so let's go into our, hold on, our mod folder. Here it is. Next, what you want to try and install is optional files. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but if you want to try it, then go ahead. So add back lens flare. If you don't want it, if you want it, it's your choice, but I'll, I'll choose to have it. Let's go into mods, update, update the RPF, common data, common data, time cycle, time cycle and I just want to select all of these and drag them into here and I want to press back 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 okay so now time 64 time 64 textures textures and I just want to drag this into here and now we press back 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 actually here we can just go back to this back Okay, so next one is time 64A. So we're going to time 64A. Okay, show in mods folder. I was accidentally not in mods folder, but okay. So now we're in the mods folder. Textures, textures, drag this into here. Okay, next. Um, blood damage overlay. Update. Okay, so we're going to update. Update RPF. Update RPF. Common. Common. Data data and I just drag this into here whoops okay now we press back 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 times 64 times 64 textures textures graphics.ytd okay and let's see if we have anything else in here mm, nope that was it okay so let's go back into options and back into Grand Theft Auto 5 so dark smog so you can choose either one dark smog or natural smog I'll show you how to install dark smog because uh, the default is natural smog so let's use dark smog all you want to do is just drag this into the main folder your Grand Theft Auto 5 game folder and that's basically it so we're done now we can start up GTA 5 and see how the game runs let's do that right now I will skip the time it takes for the game to load up and I'll see you guys once the game is ready um, and yeah I'll see how it runs so as you guys can tell the game has started up with no issues whatsoever and Redux is installed now um, there are clear differences as you can tell the sky is different the clouds have changed the reflections on the car have changed the colors the saturation I think has changed and the car deformation should change let's just check that out not too sure but I think the handling of the vehicles have changed too um, I remember when I was you know preparing to make this video I saw a lot of comments saying that that the mod makes the cars a lot uh, more slidey and a lot more powerful well I think that you know in real life cars are pretty powerful and it's quite easy to get them to slide actually no I think I think they're not this easy to slide though I think this is a little bit too easy yeah actually this might be a little bit unrealistic but but the um, power is I think a little more realistic especially for an Audi um, but yeah I think that's basically it for this video it if you have any um, trouble whatsoever you can always contact me in the comments down below I'll also leave a link in the description to the Discord group for Redux so you can just ask some people out there and um, they'll help you out if you have any trouble. And um, that pretty much sums up this video. I have said everything I need to say and I'll see you guys in the next video.